Hey girls, it's TJ. Welcome to Girls Club. I told you that we we're gonna be doing Simply Six, and so I just need six minutes of your time just to talk to you really quick. I right now am in, anybody wanna guess? I'm gonna look around. I'll show you just real quick. I'm gonna turn this, let you see, can you see this? I'm at my friend's house, and they have a lot of gardening going on here, growing all kinds of plants garden up here and you see my keys right there I was driving earlier we have been driving away anybody want to guess where we are it is not up north that's for sure anybody guessing we are in South Carolina um, my mother-in-law actually lives up here and we came to visit some friends of ours that actually used to live in Florida so we're up here in South Carolina visiting um, we're super excited about seeing them and spending some time with them but I really wanted to share with you really quick um, something the Lord has laid on my heart. So before I share with you that, I want you to do me a, a quick favor. And this is going to take us less than two minutes. Remember, this is a six-minute video, so just two minutes really quick. So I want you to quickly go look around your house, and I want you to grab three, bro three books. Quickly go. I'll give you um, ten seconds. Go. Nine. Eight. Keep looking. Grab your books. Five. Four. Three. Two. Okay. You got your books, you take your books, and you set them right there beside you. Now I want you to quickly run around your house and I want you to find two pillows. I'm gonna give you 10 more seconds. I don't care what your pillows are, just grab any size pillow that you want. Grab two pillows quickly, run, go grab your pillows. 10, seven, hurry, five, two, one. Okay, you got your pillows? Now, I want you to pick up your books. So grab your books right there, and I want you to put your pillows on top. Get somebody to hand them to you if you have to. Now, I want you to hold those books, and I want you to hold those pillows, and I want you to run around the house this time, and I want you to see if you can find a stuffed, some stuffed animals. You need at least three stuffed animals. Get them as big as you can. So, you, yeah, yeah, with the books and the pillows, run around the house. I'll give you 15 seconds this time. So quickly, run around, keep going. You have 12 seconds left. I'm watching my clock up here. So you have a clock right up there. I'm watching my clock. Seven seconds, hurry. You got them? Do you find your stuffed animals? One, okay. Stand there with your books and your pillows and your stuffed animals. Now this time, with all of your stuff, I tell you what, I will even do you a favor. Set your stuff down. So set it all down, put it all on the floor. And I want you to go grab three blankets. So three blankets. You can get any blankets you want. You can get a comforter. Maybe your mom has a blanket or your grandma or somebody has a blanket right there in the room with you. I know it's winter time. I mean, it's summertime, so you don't have as many blankets. But quickly, go find some blankets. Get some blankets. You don't have to have them folded up or you can. Get all those blankets. Bring them right back in there. And when this little thing is over, then you're going to need to clean all this up. But I'm going to show you something. So go get your blankets. Get any blankets. I'm waiting. I'll give you about seven more seconds. Six. Five. Four, hurry, three, come on, get your blankets, run around. Okay, girls, so here's the thing. If you don't have your blankets and all of your stuff that I asked you to get, then pause the video and come right back. If it's on live stream, let it play, and then you can come back, but you're gonna get the point here in a second. Okay, so you have your pillows, your blankets, and your books. I want you to pick them all back up, and your stuffed animals. Pick them all up. You gotta hold all of them. Hold all of them. Pick them all up, put them in your arms, hold them up. Okay, you got them? Come on, you can do it. Get somebody to help you. Pick it all up. You can do this. Show whoever's in the room that you can do this. You got this, all this stuff. The next thing I want you to do is I want you, with your blankets and all of your stuff, I want you to run around and find a chair. And it needs to be something like maybe a table, a chair in your dining room, or maybe it's a, a big stool if you have a piano stool. I want you to go find one of those. Go find it quick, you gotta, and, and don't come back unless you're carrying it all. You need to carry it all with you, all of you, the chair and everything. What? But that's hard? That would be hard. That's a lot. But did you know that if you take all your stuff, anybody want to know what you're going to do? Stack it on the chair. You'll find that it's easier to carry around. And I could give you more stuff. You could still stack it on the chair. and It's going to be easier to push and shove around. I have less than a minute left. Here's the deal. There are things in our life at times that seem way too heavy to carry. 
Maybe it's something going on at home. Maybe there's somebody that's sick. Maybe that you don't know how your family's going to be able to afford something. Maybe, you know, you're seeing that there's not enough money for things. Maybe you see that you've got family members that are having issues. Or maybe there's a friend and people aren't being nice to you. And it's too much to carry. Just like the books and the pillows and the comforters and all the stuff that you have. The Bible says in Matthew 11, 29 and 30, that God says, take everything, all your burdens, all your, your frustrations and put it on him and he will carry it for you. Like that chair, you're gonna take all your stuff, you're gonna put it on the chair, pretend that God is the chair. He says, give it to him and he'll help you carry it. And you might have to do a little bit of pushing and some praying, but God will help you. So this is my illustration for today. Tonight, when you, I want you, or today, take some time, say, God, I have all this stuff to carry. I don't like it, it doesn't make sense, and it, it totally stinks. But I want you to give it to God and pretend he's sitting in that chair. And you're going to take all your stuff, you're going to put it in his lap, and he's going to carry that for you. He's going to help you carry it. He doesn't mean that you're not going to push it. You're going to have to do some praying. And you're going to have to do some trusting and reading the Bible. But you're going to pretend like God is that chair, and he's going to help you carry Because he says in Matthew 11, 29 and 30, that his yoke is easy and his burden is, is light. What is a yoke? Go look it up. You'll be amazed. Some pretty interesting stuff. All right, girls, this is it. I'm a little over six minutes. I hope you girls are having a great time. I'm enjoying myself. I'm in South Carolina, and I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye-bye.
singing for 